one sentence is, we got captured, then tagged with a new identity, then got set free again. I feel like 
I, I, I opened my heart to him, and I was like, look, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to let this happen. And I'm going to let you do whatever you want to do with me. Amen. So, so, so I, go, I go on this bus, and so there are some people even here that went to this church I didn't even know. And I get, I get closer to them, and then you just go on with it, and you just go out experience after experience after experience of it. And it's, it's just really crazy, and it just switches people up. And it did, I did things that I would never, ever, ever thought I would do. Uh, but thank you guys. I mean, camp was amazing, and I definitely found my identity there. So, say that camp has changed my life. Before camp, I was dealing with a sin that took its toll on me. I was, changed to the, I was chained to the bondage of that sin, which caused me to be depressed and condemn myself, for which are both things are not of God. I felt my life slipping into the hands of the enemy, and I came to the point of myself where I couldn't even look, I couldn't even look at myself knowing what I did, and I did not see myself. Instead, I saw a shell of myself seeking redemption. One day, day one on that mountain, I cried out to him, my father, and repented and confessed, and confessed my sins and asked him to break those chains that were dragging me down while being supported and surrounded by my sisters in Christ. Then on day two, I still felt guilty and condemned myself, even though I knew of God already who forgave me. But that's when at Old Chapel, I completely let myself go to him and completely surrendered. And since then, he has lit a fire in me that will continue burning like a wildfire and spread to others around me. He has taught me that my identity does not belong to my past sins because that not of God does not define me, but my identity remains in Christ. He removed the worldly lenses I was viewing his world in and put on new lenses that let me live and see through him. When I now look in the mirror, I do not see an empty shell of myself, but instead I see Jesus. He also taught me to be a servant to him and others. Through serving, we are like him and I will serve him. To my future campers, I give you the advice to go to camp with an open heart and be open to God's work in your heart because only when you run to Him with your heart fully open, that is when God can truly transform you and grow deeper with you. I'm so honored to be part of this youth and but blessed with all the leaders and my brothers and sisters in Christ that I grew closer to at camp. Thank you for making Camp Cedar Crescent an unforgettable experience. And thank you for giving me the privilege to share my testimony with you. Every single parent, auntie, uncle, grandma, grandpa, adult, and those who sacrifice sponsors, some of us anonymous, uh, we want to thank you guys, uh, your prayers especially, because it was our, our job as a team, as a church, to get these youth on the bus, and we were blessed to do that, and uh, again, the Holy Spirit did everything else, so thank you, thank you. Fourteen received the spiritual language. <laughs> Sixteen were filled with the spirit. We had eighteen healings. Four were called to ministry. We had eleven rededications to Christ, and we had a salvation. Introduce our senior pastor, Pastor Kent. Amen. 